welcome back to Murder on the Titanic. I'm Bubonic Zombie, and we are about to restart the fireplace. Because Miss Miller, I believe it was, has some information for us about Miss Greenfield's brother. Now that we restarted the fire as you requested, would you be so kind to let us know what else you promised to share? Thank you, Professor. You and your assistant are very helpful. Now your reward. Now your reward. I, re I heard Richard arguing out of the top deck this evening with one of the officers. I didn't approach, but I was intrigued, so I stayed in the shadows and listened in. What did you hear? Well, it was difficult to take it all in, but it was something about plans falling through. The officer had been unable to get a message through to California. Do you have any idea why someone on the ship would be trying to contact California from out in the middle of the Atlantic? Anyway, Richard was quite animated and adamant that the plan, as he called it, should proceed anyway. Unfortunately, I didn't get a good look at the officer he was speaking to. It was all very mysterious. California? Something doesn't sound right about that. Let's take a look at these blueprints and see if they reveal anything, anything more. Bubonic, would you be so kind as to set them on the table there? Sure. Okay. Got the blueprints. There's the table. There we go. White Star Line. It looks like the two contain more than just the blueprints. This paper has nothing but a series of numbers. 13, 34, 7. Who wants to bet that's a combination to the safe? I wonder what on earth those numbers could mean. Hmm. By the way they are arranged, I would almost guess that they were a combination to a safe. Yep. Oh, that reminds me. Sophia's brother bragged about bringing his safe aboard. He said it was made of the finest material. That information may be of help to us, Miss Miller. Bonnick, let's return to the Greenfield Suite to see if we can make use of this combination. Shouldn't it be like a sleep? Okay. Why would Richard Greenfield be talking with a ship's officer about plans falling through? What is the California connection? Is 1334-7 the combination to the safe we found in the Greenfield Suite? feel like I'm being an announcer on a TV show. Tune in next time to Murder on the Titanic! Okay. Let's give the combination we discovered a try. Okay. To the safe. Okay. 13, 34, 7. 13. Come on, turn. Thirty-four and seven. There we go. Ah. Okay, so we have stuff. White Star Line Letter Greenfield, the Royal Navy Inquiry determined that the collision with the HMS Hawk was the fault of Olympic's captain. The insurance company won't have to pay out on the damage, which would bankrupt White Star. We've poured the money for the completion of the Titanic into patching up Olympic and refitting her to the Titanic's place. To take Titanic's place, arrange for one of her officers to scuttle her on the ice so we can claim Titanic's insurance money. The night of the 14th, you should be close enough to several ships that rescue for the passengers will be will be imminent. Okay, that might be a grammatical error. J.B. Ismay. Oh, my word. This document is true. I fear we now know the reason for the murders aboard the ship. Another cutscene. Iceberg right ahead! God forgive us for what we now do. Oh, there it is. Chapter 6, A Night to Remember. Okay, looks like this is the fateful night of the Titanic sunk. 
According to the document we found in Mr. Greenfield's safe, he is working with at least one of the officers aboard to cause the sinking of the ship. And now that the ship has struck an iceberg, it appears that their plot is well on its way to fruition. I'd hope we might find at least one officer here in the officer's smoke room to question, but they are probably all out assisting with the crisis at hand. Let's use their absence to have a look about. Perhaps we'll find something useful. So interesting note, there are uh, there are quite a few conspiracy theories out there um, that the Titanic's that the sinking of the Titanic was intentional, um, especially considering one of one of the theories is that especially considering the captain went down with the ship. Um, people suspect that he knew more about the sinking than others and there's a lot of things out there you guys can do some interesting research and I just noticed this looks like chain link fence right here <laughs> um, but yeah um, this remember this is based off a novel so it probably um, I haven't read the novel but it probably explores that um, conspiracy theory that this is that this the sinking was planned but it's interesting, very interesting. Let's see. Combination should be easy for you gents. The years it took to construct Titanic, the number of lifeboats she carries, and the number of smoke stacks she has. I forgot how many lifeboats the Titanic had, but I knew it wasn't enough. Let's see. So we have the years, the lifeboats, and the smoke stacks. Okay. It's a good thing to note of that. Let's see. What is this? A journal. That Murdoch is at it again. I know it took three years to build Titanic, and she has 20 lifeboats, but I can't recall how many stacks, and I am too embarrassed to ask the others. Can't we just use a latch like normal men? Okay, so that answers it. We have three years and 20 lifeboats. How many stacks? Do we have a photo somewhere? Okay. Don't know the combination yet. It's locked. Looks like I need to find a key. Where would that be? <laughs> okay, I did that completely from memory. I was kind of like, I was wondering, I was like, is there a photo we can look at? But then I'm thinking like of the Titanic in my head, and I'm like, I remember there being six. I don't know if there was more than that, but let me just try six. So it was three twenty and six, three years to build the Titanic, twenty lifeboats, and six smokestacks. Okay, I mean it was a massive ship. Okay. So, there's this little piece of paper. Seven, here's eight. Let's try to reassemble the contents of this letter. Okay. Officer, meet me tonight at the forecastle. Forecastle well deck at 11. We need to discuss the plan. Interesting. The initials RBG must stand for Richard Bartholomew Greenfield III. This confirms what Daisy Miller told us about her overhearing a conversation between him and one of the officers. I wonder which officer he is co conspiring with. Until we know, we cannot confide in any of them. We should head to the wheelhouse and speak with the captain. Okay, to the map! Okay, Captain, are you there? Where's the captain? You must be informed of the foul plot. 
That is a miss this evening, but perhaps in his absence we can discover further evidence. Okay. There's the lemon and the tea from earlier. Let's see. Oh, there's this jacket. It looks like First Officer Murdoch's coat held an odd puzzle to. If we can solve it, we might find something useful in it. Okay. Ooh, this is neat. So I take it, we need to build the Titanic. There we go. Or some ship. This key we found from the first officer's overcoat might help us back in the officer's smoke room. To the smoke room! Let's look through the officer's smoke room once again. Perhaps we will find something in the pantry that would identify who is working with Mr. Greenfield. And we have the key to the pantry. Ooh. It's, okay, it's just random stuff. CASH! Here's the blood money that Mr. Greenfield has paid. We need to get the word to the captain. Wait! I hear voices approaching. Quickly! Grab the satchel and hide in the pantry. Grab pa grab satchel! Hide in pantry! Am I hidden? There's a cutscene. I told you this was madness, Greenfield. The ship is filling with water too quickly. We have two hours at most, and the Californian is not responding to our radio calls. There aren't enough light bulbs for everyone on board. You assured us the Californian will be ready to take action. Gentlemen, please, I'm sure whatever's preventing the Californian from responding is temporary. And we can see their ship's light from a distance. Very well, we'll see to it, but until the ship responds, we must load the light bulbs with women and children first. Fine, whatever. Just make sure that some of the collapsible boats remain available in case this does fall apart. The California remains a response if we're not going down with the ship. Should have had no part in this. I agreed to have his manservant eliminate Charles Taylor after he discovered the Olympic secret, and certainly no one will miss that manservant himself. If I didn't sign up to become an accessory to mass murder. Too late for regrets now, Light Toller. Olympic is headed for a watery grave, and the money Greenfield promised will make us both rich men. We best return to our post before our absence is noticed. We need to get wor word immediately to the captain. Perhaps he is in the wireless room, attempting to get aid. Okay. The note confirms that Richard Bartholomew the Greenfield III is working with an unknown officer or officers to cause the sinking of the ship. We now know that the crewmen in league with Greenfield are officers Murdoch and Lightoller. Okay. We still have the cash! Is that all in this room? Okay. The map wasn't sparkly, so... Excuse me, young man. Harold Bride, sir. I'm junior wireless operator aboard the ship. Although with Officer Phillips gone to help out on deck, I suppose I'm the senior wireless operator at this time. Well, Mr. Bride, we have a very important issue to bring to the captain, but he wasn't in the wheelhouse. Has he been here? I haven't seen him, sir, but I'm afraid the wireless room is in a bit of disarray at the moment after the collision with the iceberg. If you could but help me gather up the instruments, I could reassemble the wireless and send a message to the nearby Californian. Okay. What do we have? I have no idea how this goes. Okay, it's on the wall. Ah, oh, here we go. You and your sister have been very helpful, but I'm afraid I'm missing a key component, the condenser. There's a replacement in the possession of the purser. I don't suppose I could ask you to run down to his office to obtain it while I finish setting this back up? Back to the purser! Okay, we will resume this crisis at the moment <laughs> um, in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!